Good morning, everybody. I um, hope you can see my screen. Um, thank you, Tom. So yeah, I'll just go through the AgriSnap Geotag mobile app. So uh, I'll describe briefly what AgriSnap is, and then I'll just go into a bit more detail in regard to what Geotag photos are. Then um, as Tom was on about there in relation to the two-factor authentication. So I'll just go through a bit about the new security that we have for the app, and then I'll describe how the app will be used for REAP. So if I just AgriSnap, so um, Jerome said earlier that some of you may have tested already for us. Um, we're hoping it will be a simple approach um, to enable users to send in geotag photos to the department. Um, it will have a secure login um, with the single sign-on approach. So only DAFAM registered users will be able to actually log into the app. So this secures it for our own use and we can ensure that the pictures that are being sent in are from legitimate sources. Um, the app will also make us have accurate location data. So normally with mobile phones, the GPS, it records the location, but we've, with the app itself, have tried to link in with six different satellites to try and ensure that we can get the best location data at the time in, when the picture is being captured. And we're also providing the ability to label the photos um, for the REAP scheme, so REAP project. So when someone clicks the fo photo type, you can apply a label to the picture. So for some people that may not know what a geotag photo is, it's digital photographs with embedded information. And this embedded information is referred to as XF data. So it's exchangeable image file format. So if we can see the photo up on the right, that was a photo sent in to provide evidence of a farmer's claim. And then we can see that on the bottom of the screen, you can see the different information. So it provides camera and device settings. So you can see the brightness of the image. So there's different settings that are coming with that photo, as well as the GPS data. So the latitude and longitude and latitude, the coordinates of where that picture was taken. We can also receive the direction data, um, device dependent, but where the user, what direction the user is facing when they capture the picture. So once we then receive this geotagged information, we can plot the photos coordinates onto our internal spatial systems and we can see where this photo was captured in relation to the parcel polygon itself. So this these geotag photos will be sent in with the AgriSnap app. Uh, so then just to continue from further what Tom was on about. So Tom explained with the recent cybersecurity issues and um, for all external logins to the department systems now we have to use the two tac two-factor authentication. So you'll still have your single sign-on approach, but there'll be a new app that will have to be downloaded, which is the Duo mobile app. And this will help us to facilitate the two-factor authentication. So just an extra bit now about it. So it adds a second layer of security to your online accounts. You can be verified by the second factor. And for us, we're using a one-time passcode. So every time, you will log in to the AgriSnap app, you will be provided with a six digit passcode by the Duo app. And this can be entered on your final login screen to activate the app for use. Just to a bit into why we need this, passwords as we know them now are easily compromised. They can be stolen, guessed or hacked. So it's an extra step. And unless someone has your mobile phone and that six digit passcode, they cannot log in to our systems. Unfortunately, it's because of all external users now have to be logged in and we're trying to make it as simple as possible um, for the users. So how we're going to try and make it as simple as possible will be the initial setup of the two-factor authentication um, has to set up a link between the AgriSnap app and the Duo mobile app. So we're going to provide a URL um, and I believe it will sit in with the GLAM system hopefully that you'll be able to click on to set up the initial setup. Um, and then once, I'll go through the steps of this in a few seconds, but once this is all set up then initially, you can log into the app, enter your username as password as normal, verify the location with the OTP, the six digit code, and then you are securely logged in. So I'll just go through now the link that you'll go through. Um, there'll be a bit more text around this login page, but we'd click login and then you'll become to the login page. So you'll use your normal username and password. Once we log in, then you are presented with this once time page where you have have logged into the system 
externally and haven't used the system before. So you will be presented with the instructions here. You'll download the Duo mobile app. You'll then, once you've downloaded the app, you, sorry, no, you appear here, so this is the app itself. And there's a plus up here on the, this screen over here on the left, which you click to add a new account to the app. So you need to set up a new account to link with the AgriSnap mobile app. The, this, once you press the plus symbol, it opens up a new screen here, which you can see on the right, that is a camera. So it just brings up your camera and then you can scan this barcode here. So you'd scan that barcode and that registers the AgriSnap app with the Duo app. This, once it's scanned, then you are provided with a six digit code as you can see here. So this was a screenshot we had to get from the internet because for security reasons, we actually cannot take a screenshot or video the Duo app when it's in use. So this was an example we found online. So where this says Google, we'd have a new account that would be say AgriSnap or third party, party app it may be called. And this will provide you with the six digit code here. You'll also see there's a timer on the right that will go down. And I think after 30 seconds, it just resets and you get a new password again. So it, 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 um, you get a new password every 30 seconds until you've entered in your password. So once you be able to receive this code, you should be able to just tap on it and it will automatically copy it. And then you'd enter it in. So once this is entered in, then you press submit and that's the setup done. So there's one time where you'll have to set this up. And after that, on login, you just enter in your password and straight away the Duo app will provide you with a six digit OTP, which you will enter into the AgriSnap app. So that has said, so you've set it up then. So it, the first setup will be tricky, um, but hopefully we may try to make it as easy as possible for you. And then after that, you'll just get your six digit OTP each time you log in. So now just describe the AgriSnap for the REAP project. Um, as I said, you'll log in and you'll have your two-factor authentication and your one-time passcode. Then once you've logged in, you'll see a, a REAP tab. So the REAP tab will be down the bottom right-hand corner. And this will be the map screen that will be presented. You can zoom in and out onto the map. The dark blue circle will be your location. Um, so as you're moving around the field, the location will be updating. There's a bit of few instructions here of what's required per field. And then, as I said, you'll be able to fire a photo type label onto each photo. Once you've selected the photo type label, you take the photo and then you press send. So I'll just go through now the steps on the app itself. So this is the first screen for the app. You'll agree to the terms and conditions for using the app. You'll press login. This is the login screen. So the username and password. You'll enter your username and password. This was used for in the testing environment. So and it was internally, so we didn't have to use the OTP. So you won't see the screen for the OTP. But when you're logging in from external, when you press login, you'll be provided with a second screen that will just enter your six digit code that you've been provided by, by the Duo app. So then once you've logged in, this was the read scheme, as I said, and you can see the map here, which is your location, the instructions, and then the photo type. So this bottom panel can be slided up or down. Sorry, I'll go back for a second. Um, to make the map bigger, if you needed it. Once you are happy with your location and you're ready to take your photo, you can select your photo type. So there's a few little options um, set in here in the menu. So I think there's seven of them. So there's the different options. So if we selected one of these, so I'll select the MSL in field and we can see it appears here. Once that has been, a label has been set, we can now take an image. So we can't take an image until we have a label that's attached to the photo. Once then you press take image, it opens the camera in the phone and you can see here, so this will be the camera. When you then take your photo, it appears in the photo tab. So this will be a photo and it's got the label that you applied to the image on top of it. So then we can select this photo and just press send and your photo has been sent in. They also put a stamp on all the photos that have been sent in. So as a user, you'll be able to know which photos have been submitted and which ones haven't. We can go back again then, and you go back to the REAP tab, your map appears. You can then select a new label onto the photo and press your camera. So if we go to then after you've taken the photo, you can see a new parcel with a label that's applied to it. The one that's already been sent in on the right, 
is marked. So then you can select this photo, press the send photo, and it's been sent in again. So we're hoping that this is a simple approach to enable you to send in the geotech photos. It ensures that we are receiving legitimate photos from registered users in the department, and we're trying to get as accurate information as possible. The label and then other photos will help us to manage the photos internally when they're linked in with the fields. The one final point to note will be that the location accuracy. So Agri, as I said, AgriSnap is linking in with six different satellites. So we're trying to get the most accurate location data we can. But it's always important that when you're using the smartphone for this, you have to realize that it's all dependent on the device and the operating system. Mobile phones themselves have many different uses, um, cellular, so the mobile as we'd know it, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. And all these different components can actually interfere with each other. So the main use of any mobile phone is cellular. So this will be the strongest component, while the GPS may not be as strong compared to the cellular component. So it's important that when you're using the app and you're watching the map, you can see that your location is actually where you are. Just as an extra security step to say, right, this is actually my location. And it's also be wary of the geographical surroundings. Um, if you're up in hills or in a bad coverage area, it may mean that it'll take a few less seconds longer for your location to actually update. So similar to when you're using a mobile phone to make a call, sometimes the signal may not be as strong. So as I said, the AgriSnap app has six different satellites, so it should be able to register with the location. But it's just to be aware that once we get the most accurate location data, we can then plot these photos internally in our systems and we can register them to the parcels in the system. So the location is important and just to be aware of that as the user. That's it, thank you very much.